welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. Um, there are some purists out there that what get all hinky about the use of black in their, um, their paintings. Um, some people don't like to use, you know, tube black at all. Um, because they feel like it's too mad, it's too severe, um, and all that kind of stuff. And um, other people find that black mixes strangely with other um, colors on your palette. Um, and that can be because of um, the, the shape of the pigment, the actual shape of the pigment molecules. They actually are just a little bit lo uh, larger for like carbon black and lamp black and stuff like that. And so for pigments that have a smaller molecule size that you can find that they, they mix weird and strange ratios and stuff like that. So some people really, really like mixing their own blacks from scratch. Um, and it's really not as hard as you think. Like people think, oh, there's like set recipes and all that kind of stuff. Well, you know, yeah, there's some, but really all you need to keep in mind is three primaries, you know, your red of your choosing, blue of your choosing and yellow of your choosing and different ratios to control how warm or cool you want it to go. And this takes some practice, a little bit of finesse. But I've got a couple of standardized recipes that I wanted to show you just to give you an idea of the range of blacks that you can create really, really easily with the colors that you already have already in your um, repertoire. Um, the first one is Prussian alizarin and a little bit of Hansa yellow medium. Um, you can see that um, we did a little bit less Hansa than the others because um, it doesn't really take that much and you don't want to lighten it up too much. Um, but you can find that you get a really blue, bluish black and it has a definitely strong blue bias because when we mixed it with a little bit of titanium, you can see that we got um, a really, really unique blue tint um, out of that, but a really strong, um, good coverage black. Um, you can see here in the drawdown area that we had um, really good coverage there. Uh, the second is a little bit of Prussian blue and vermilion. Uh, we mix those in equal parts um, and you got to keep in mind Prussians it's strong um, so it kind of overtook initially the vermilion but it softened out. Um, as you can see here the drawdown was really really opaque and really really strong um, but you end up with like a green biased black, a uh, really, really nice rich black. And when we mix it with a little uh, titanium, we got a really uh, uni unique soft green color. And then lastly, we have Quinn red and thalo green. So you can imagine that the thalo is really, really strong there. I need something really powerful like Quinn to, you know, quinacridone red to offset it. But we mix those in equal parts. Um, again, it resulted because the thalo is so strong, um, another, you know, blue biased black, a, a cool black. Um, and then when we um, mixed it with a little bit of titanium, um, we got a tint that was very, very obviously bluish purple, um, but a very, very soft color. Um, opaque, really, really nice coverage and stuff like that. So if you're not a fan of just straight out of the tube, black colors. Um, these are some really easy recipes that you can try uh, for mixing your own blacks uh, to create a whole bunch of variations that are just specific to the way that you like to paint. So enjoy!